All right, dubious ones, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the new Ultra Pro Wrestling Showcase. Coming out ahead of All In here, if you're not familiar, UPW Ultra Pro Wrestling is developed by the good guys over at Hyper Focus Games, and I am one of their um, Kickstarter supporters here, so I will be eagerly anticipating the beta and waiting for that to come out, and we will be posting a lot so as soon as that comes out. Um, towards this video as much gameplay and trying to answer as many of your questions as you guys might have about this game I have been pardon the pun hyper focused on the updates towards this game So let's take a look at the new trailer and see what we think So the following showcase is to demonstrate the current development progress of ultra pro wrestling Content featured may not reflect the final product built in unity I've been in this business a long damn time Been up, up and down every road. Been up and down every road. I like that voice over. In every territory. All over the world. I've wrestled everybody they could put. Art done by Hal Haney, Lewis Tillett, and Lance Wardlaw. Brawler. May have butchered that last every one there. Technician. Animation. These fine every folks. Flyer. Every giant, and I beat them all. This is a neat little intro. But I got one last road to ride. One Blue last collars. thing to prove. Blue collar Bill Dollar. We got blue collar Bill Dollar. I do like that. I do like the little video they got for him too. Bill Dollar. Loving it. Wonderful. Love the art style. The way they move, very Aki Games uh, esque. The little bit of sliding while they walk. Some of the moves, I think they are at the speeds of the Aki Games, like that clothesline we just saw. And see, like that drop kick there. Some of the things look a little slow. The running animation there may be a little bit slow. But overall, we're looking pretty good. I like that the fans are doing a little slightly different things between some of them, even if they're the same models. Nice. This power slam. Nice, you got the little, like, press in the L uh, left trigger there. Or left, I guess, just L on the N64 controller. Do the little back way there, the back step. And beautiful brain buster. Getting see in that clothesline. Got the clothesline again. So I'm assuming they only have a certain amount of moves, so there's a DDT animated at this point, so there's only so much we're going to see in this. I don't know how far along they are in the uh, animation process, but I know I do know that they are planning on animating every single move that has been in every single Aki game. So, like, it's up to, like, I think the New Japan Pro Wrestling series, not the Def Jam series. But as far as like No Mercy, WrestleMania 2000, World Tour, Revenge, and the two New Japan games for um, Friends 64, I think it's going to have every grapple setup and every move that that uh, that those games have on top of the stuff they'll be hand animating. So you guys, as you guys can see, it's in development. Get updates via their Patreon, Patreon.com/slash/UltraProWrestling. And here, so is that all you got? Here's Americana, as we saw in the original trailer. Look at his new model. Looks great. That looks fantastic. Bruno Barboza, one of the new characters. Beautiful. Al Haney did a, did a wonderful job creating these characters from scratch. And wow, seeing them come to life for the first time 
really incredible. I've been anticipating this for a long time. Guru Densai! The seven foot four monster. Look at that monster. And then we got Betty Bulldozer. Very impressed with how these models are turning out from the art style. Al Haney has done an incredible job creating these very unique characters. I love it. And from what we've understood is the Create a Wrestler, you'll be able to edit all of these in-game wrestlers, and you should be able to, to um, edit them to the point where you can turn them into any actual in like current wrestler. So you could easily turn this into a Dynamite Kid or a British Bulldog or turn Blue Collar Bill Dollar into a Stone Cold Steve Austin. As far as I understand, you can change all the hair, facial hair, part, every part of the attire, every little bit of it is going to be customizable. Here we get, oh see, now we're getting to see some of the um, creative wrestler features. Change your size, so you can see, you can make them like a super heavyweight, sumo style. Hopefully you can shrink individual limb parts, not just the whole body size. I'm um, changing your attire item, see there you go, you're changing, the, they just changed the hair. Put some masks. I'm sure there's limited um, options that they have developed so far. Is it's early in development? Yeah, because you're seeing them change all the colors. But we're not seeing a whole lot of different elbow pads, for instance. Gloves, tape, that kind of stuff. I think that's all to come. Um, but from everything I understand, it's going to be fully, fully customizable. So every in-game wrestler, you'll be able to change into a Bret Hart. Or an RVD. Or whatever. But they've also done... A lot of this they're gonna have a lot of free agent DLC and from what I understand is the por proceeds from the DLC a portion of them are going to go to these wrestlers or if they're, if they're late wrestlers the late wrestlers families um, so if you're spending money on a Matt Cardona part of that part of that um, purchase is gonna go directly to Matt Cardona which I think is super cool and it's not taking away from the funds we've raised through Kickstarter to help develop the game. From I've asked all these questions and been answered directly um, by the developers here. Chris Candido we've got coming, of course, if you're not familiar. Brian Clark. Um, we have seen these updates via Twitter, but we are also getting a lot of new characters, I'm sure. We've got we've heard Blue Meanies coming. Um, we've heard we've got Axe and Smash coming, Demolition, that's very cool. Love those guys. Who do we got here? Oh, we got the Masked Superstar a la Crusher Krusev. Very cool. Oh, we've got him. Double A Arn Anderson. Beautiful. Wonder if we'll get Ric Flair. We got Nova. Beautiful. I wonder if you, I'm sure you can make the Hollywood version. Team him up with the Blue Meanie. Who do we got here? Oh, we got Francine. Oh, I love that. And I love the art. Hal Haney does ama an amazing job with the artwork. He is their uh, art director here. Luis Piccoli, the real innovator. Beautiful. So we got a lot of ECW fan favorites here. Another one, Al Snow. Look at this in full ECW attire. So we got a lot of ECW love in this game. Two Cold Scorpio. Very nice. Another ECW original. Some of you know, might know him as Flash Funk from his WWE days. Oh, we got Gangrel. Very nice. Fanging and banging. Oh, sorry. Internet hiccups here, apparently. But, uh, and then who else we got here? We got Canyon. Chris Canyon. Who better? Who better than Canyon? Oh, and we get Mortis. Nice. Very d r reminiscent. We got Revenge. We've got Mortis in the game. Very cool. Oh, and they're adding Crowbar. So we've got some old WCW favorites. Okay. Oh, who is it? It's Buff the Stuff Bagwell. Look at that, guys. We're getting Buff as some DLC. Hilarious. Who's this? We got Bull Nakano. Very neat, very cool. Very, very cool. And Glacier! <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh, and Testify, we get Brother Devon, and that model looks so good. Hal Haney's an incredible artist, man. Does some incredible work. Warhorse, very, very cool. He looks cool. Sandman, beautiful. Love it. Classic ECW attire, absolutely loving it. Very cool looking. Hayabusa, very nice. I believe he was in um, either World Tour or Revenge and probably the New Japan games as well. Good Dynamite Kid, very nice. 
Tito Santana. Look at that. Getting some WWE legends as well, or WWF, as they would be at that time. The Powers of Pain, Warlord and the Barbarian. Very cool. Hexaw! Hey oh Jim Duggan. This is a lot more GLC than I expected. Jake the Snake Roberts! How is he not in AEW Fight Forever? But he is coming to Ultra Pro Wrestling. That is very cool. Again, these are all going to be DLC. Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. From what I understand from this game, though, you will be able to create all the characters you want. You're not going to have to buy each individual DLC if you don't want, if you want a representation of those characters in your game. So that's it for the trailer. But for those who aren't familiar with Ultra Pro Wrestling, the whole idea behind it is to be able to, because obviously they weren't going to get all the licensed wrestlers they wanted. I'm shocked they're able to get this many cool DLC. Um, and the way I understand it again is it's going to be a split where part, a portion of the proceeds of the DLC are going to go directly to pay all the wrestlers. So each each time you buy one, whoever buys like, you know, Matt Cardone or whoever else, they'll get a portion of those funds. That's how they're able to license them from what I understand. Um, but the whole premise of the game was because they didn't think they were going to have any licensed wrestlers was to have a whole roster with tons of guys, you know, 100 guys on the roster, whatever it is. And that you were able to edit every specific part of those wrestlers so that you could create in-game because they're going to have texture editing software in the game. I don't know if they'll have an image uploader. They weren't sure about that, but they're going to try. And they're definitely going to have community creations so that you can download a perfectly created, you know, in the UPW style of a Bret Hart, of a British Bulldog, of a Jim the Anvil Neidhart, of an Owen Hart, of a Rob Van Dam, of a whoever it is, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, The Undertaker, so that you can take those, put them in your game, and you just put them over the cool wrestlers that Hal Haney's been able to create. But what I think is Hal Haney's done such a great job creating these very unique, very, very cool, unique characters that it's going to be interesting to me um, if I'm going to want to save over top of any of those with like, you know, perfect looking Bill Goldberg or Steve Austin or Rock or something like that. It's going to be interesting because the whole story, the story motive for those who aren't familiar, um, and we can put, start playing this in the background again just so there's something going on back there. Um, but the whole premise of the, um, of the story as well is going to be, it's the first set of the story that comes with the game at launch is going to be the 80s. So it's going to be basically 80s wrestling throughout the world. So you'll have like stories that happened in maybe in the NWA, as well as stories that were happening in the WWF at the time. Obviously, they can't, for copyright reasons, use the WWF logos or W or NWA logos, et cetera, et cetera. So they'll have their own fake promotions, like whatever they call the Japan and whatever they call, you know, the U.S. territories and the different territories. But you'll get the whole the storylines from those things, and they'll have their bill dollars and these characters that they've created representing a role like someone will have the role of a Ric Flair they just won't be called Ric Flair someone will have the role of a Dusty Rhodes or a Hulk Hogan and so you'll be playing through history of wrestling which I think is super amazing it's very like optimistic like it's a very it's a big project to take on like from everything I've heard from the developers of what they want to do with this game because they want to add on to the story later on so the continuation of the story after you finish the 80s they're going to come out with the 90s. And in the 90s, they're hoping to come out with new match types as well. So when you go through the 90s, you might start getting death matches as, an, as a playable match in the game. Because in the 90s story, you might be going through FMW or some of those feds that had like the death matches in the 90s. And then you're going to have, go through the Monday Night Wars through WWE or WWF and WCW and ECW. And you're going to have those like characters represented in-game by the hundred random, you know, wrestlers that are in the game, right? They're going to, and it's not going to be the DLC characters that are re representing those characters. So that you can, yourself, while playing the game, you can edit each wrestler. So if you know someone's got the role of an Andre the Giant, or the Giant, or a Hulk Hogan, you can make them look like Hulk Hogan. So when you're playing through, you're actually playing through against the characters you're supposed to. Or, for me, I mean, I think that they've done such a great job and Hal Haney's done an amazing job creating these characters. But I think it'd still be just as fun to play it through with 
you know, your your Bill Dollars and your and your Americanas and the like the different characters. I know Americana is one of the originals that um, Hal Haney uh, didn't create, but that was with by um, by Sam and and his buddies. But you know what I mean here, like all the different guys, like Americana. I think was one of the originals, but everyone else here that we've seen, Bruno Barboza, these guys, they look cool to me. You know, I don't mind having this guy in my stories and have him represent uh, uh, The Rock or or whoever he's supposed to be, Rave Kid, whoever they end up being in the in the story modes, right? Because these guys look, they just look cool and unique and fun. And I don't know, you guys, I'm very excited for this game. I've been um, hoping to see more for a long time, so I'm happy we got this big, big reveal today. The character artwork, like, look at this. It looks really cool. I like the art style they've gone with. I think the characters, like, look at Fireheart here. Super neat looking. That's That, to me, looks super great. Um, I would say some of the moving movement and everything seems like maybe a little slow, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was like that in, like, the World Tours and WrestleManias and all those games as well. And they're really trying to recreate the AKI and do, like, a spiritual, proper spiritual successor to those games. More so than even, say, AEW Fight Forever was able to do. So, very hopeful for this game. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more Ultra Pro Wrestling content, we will be covering it here on the channel. And the more uh, stuff that comes out, if there's great new stuff with AEW Fight Forever, um, we'll be covering that of, as well, of course. It's just really a matter of... they. AEW Fight Forever needs to do a lot of work. We need patches. We need updates. Um, the Stadium Stampede was fun, but to me, not enough or not what the game needed at this point. Very cool mode. Neat. Happy to have it. But it doesn't address any of the issues that we were really complaining about, and neither did um, their patch. Their patch was more fixing glitches and bugs than it was um, doing any kind of ability or balance pass. But that will save for another video. This one, just wanted to cover this very cool looking trailer for Ultra Pro Wrestling. I hope you guys are as hyped for it as I am. Um, I'm loving how everything looks. Spirit Meter looks cool, but obviously I'm sure there'll be tweaks as this is pre-alpha footage, not representative of the final pro product, but from what we're seeing so far, looks very cool. I'm very excited about it. Anyways, if you want more Ultra Pro Wrestling news, keep it tuned here, dubious ones, please. Comment down below some features you'd like to know. Um, I, if you're not aware, Ultra Pro Wrestling also on their channel, they do do a Q&A um, usually once a week some, or it'll start uh, moving to once every two weeks. But they do have a Q&A for you guys to be asking your questions that you want the developers to answer. And you can go back through previous Q&As they've done to see if any of your questions have already been answered, right? I've had a chance to ask them lots of questions. I'm very excited for where this game is going. The uh, DLC has really caught me out of left field here as far as the amount of licensed wrestlers they've been able to, to sign towards this, which I'm very excited for. I think that's very cool because you can just kind of pick whomever you like out of these and hopefully maybe it'll have like some of their theme songs. I believe from what I uh, remember, I think Arn Anderson is actually getting his Four Horsemen theme song they've been able to get for him in this as well, which is very cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're looking forward to in this game. If you'll be getting it, if you've pre-ordered or, I guess, supported on the Kickstarter like I have. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions for me, I mean, I do know a lot about this game. Um, and if you haven't had a chance to check out one of their Q&A streams and ask questions directly... You can always ask me questions down below, and if I have the answer, I'll happily uh, answer it for you. But for now, that's going to be it for this one, you guys. And we will catch you in the, night, in the next one. Please feel free to leave me a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, as we're pushing towards that 200 subscriber mark. So we're getting up there, you guys. So feel free. Add me up if you haven't already, but that'll do it for this one. And we'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys.